Hi, kids. Um, hey, I'm not there. I wish I was there, uh, but I'm not there. I'm sure maybe you wish I was there. Maybe you don't. I don't know, but uh, I'm not there. So um, tomorrow we're going to start a project, um, and I need to introduce that project to you um, and make sure that you are understanding and coming with a plan, because if you don't, you're going to struggle, and if you do, then you should have no issues. Um, but uh, it's on page 53. Okay, um, in your packet, um, and it's the uh, says well, even if it's not page fifty three, maybe if you have a different packet, but it says mini launcher directions. Find that. Um, but if you read along with me, it says your group is going to be given a mini. Launcher. So what's going to happen is I'm going to give your group a bin. So like this one is bin number six. You need to make sure you write down bin number six because you get the same mini launcher every single day. Um, inside your bin, you will find. A mini launcher, which is a small version of a monkey gun. Uh, you will find a plunger. You will find a steel ball. You will find a clamp and some safety goggles. Okay. Um, your goal first, if you if you read along with this, okay. So it says your group will develop a procedure to calculate the initial velocity of the launcher two different ways, and then actually measure the initial velocity. You will then write a problem that involves the launcher and the initial velocity and test your solution uh, to see if it actually works. And then finally, me, your teacher, will change one of the variables uh, in your problem, and then you're going to have to solve a new problem. So what, just so you know, we're going to be working on this Friday, Monday. You're going to have three days for this. Friday and Monday are going to be like the two complete days. And then you're going to have part of the day on Tuesday to work on this. So it's super important you come in with a plan. Um, <clears throat> what do you have to do for tomorrow? Here's what you have to do for tomorrow. For tomorrow, you guys need to come in with part one done. Well, the first, really, it's number three of part one. That's the part that you, that you have to have done. Number three says, list the data that must be collected for your procedures. Rather than have you take data and then find that you can't use it to find the initial velocity, uh, you, you are going to assign values. You're going to make up data uh, to the variables and then see if you can actually solve for the initial velocity. So a couple of things I want to make sure is 100% clear with these little launcher dealies. Okay? These launcher dealies are designed... Okay. There's one click, two clicks, three clicks. You're going to have to design, decide as a group how many clicks you're doing. But these launchers are designed so that if you go three clicks, for example, with this thing, no matter what angle I shoot it at, if I shoot it straight up, if I shoot it you know, at an angle of 45 degrees, if I shoot it you know, down at an angle, if I shoot it horizontally, no matter what angle I shoot it at, it should give you the same initial velocity. So that means, let's say I'm going to make up a number. Let's say it's, you get 10 meters per second. It's not going to be 10 meters per second, but let's say you get 10 meters per second. If you have it lined up horizontally, it's going to shoot horizontally at 10 meters per second. If you have it lined up at 45 degrees, it would shoot at 45 degrees at 10 meters per second. If you line it up vertically, it would shoot 10 meters per second vertically or whatever it was. Okay, so um, that's, I want to make sure that that is clear. Okay, um, and then second, okay, um, I want to make sure that you, you need to make sure that whatever procedure you're going to do, and so you guys are going to have to come up with a procedure. Like it, it's going to be things like, well, set up your launcher this way, launch, measure this stuff. One thing I am not going to let you measure is time, okay? Because I am not going to let you use video physics, okay? So we are not going to do time. Plus, it would be virtually impossible to see this itty bitty teeny ball on video physics. So we're not going to use time. Um, so then that means. What are you going to be able to measure? Well, you're going to have meter sticks. You're going to have tape measures. You're going to have carbon paper. You're going to have all of that stuff that you can use to measure distances and hopefully measure distances accurately. Um, but, like, you're going to just be measuring distances. So one of the things you guys need to do before tomorrow is you're going to come up with, you know, like, let's say, because here's what I want to avoid. Let me just explain this. I've had students in the past that, you know, they set their launcher up, so here's my launcher, and they're launching, and they're super busy. They're launching, and they're measuring, and they're launching, and they're measuring. And then I'll be like, I'll, you know, I'll come over, and I'll be like, hey, guys, well, what are you doing? And, and they're like, well, we are launching, and we are measuring, and we are launching, and we are measuring. 
And I'll be like, okay, so how are you going to use that to find the initial velocity? And they're like, uh... And I said, well, have you actually tried doing that? And they're like, uh... Because, you know what, sometimes, depending on what you're doing, you can't find the initial velocity, you know, just you know, randomly launching. Um, so I absolutely don't want you to come in and just waste time. You know, because if you're going to waste time, I might as well just send you outside and have you count rocks. You know, no, make sure that you, what you're doing makes sense. So when you walk in tomorrow, okay, I want to make sure this is clear. You're going to have two different procedures. Now you're working with your pot. So I would recommend this, okay. A couple people do one procedure, a couple people do a different procedure. Or everybody does their own procedure, so when you walk in, you have four different procedures, and hopefully at least two of them will work. Okay? Um, but remember, you can shoot it how you can shoot the launcher however you like. Uh, remember, you're not going to be able to measure time. You're just measuring distances. Um, and then you should make up data. So it would be, for example, well, I measured this data, and I measured this data, and look, if I measure that data and that data, I can do the math and figure stuff out, okay? But otherwise, it's really open-ended. You guys can do what you want to do. You can put this on the ground. You can shoot it from the table. You can, I don't know, shoot it at an angle. You can, whatever you want to do, it's, it's totally up to you, okay? But please come in with a plan, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, kids.